Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at Hutchins Barbecue, which has been repeatedly voted the best barbecue in DFW, and they have a freaking all you can eat. I just stepped outside, it smells delicious, it smells like burning wood, it smells like meat. This is everything I am. This is me, this is Texas, this is barbecue. We're gonna go try their all you can eat. I'm so excited! So let's have some food. Hey everyone, so here we are. We've got all the food here. I'm so excited. Hutchins Barbecue, let's get eating. Look at this fatty brisket. Look at this, it just, look at it, it just. Ah. So excited. This is their, that cosmic barbecue sauce that I got So good. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Raina. Mm. Ooh. Oh. That's the fatty one. So much pepper. It's so perfect. Much like a true, true Texas style barbecue. Oh, man. We're in for a treat. Oh, it's just dripping. I can see why this place has won best barbecue in DFW countless times. Dude, the moment, like the moment it opened, there's so many people. It's already almost a full house. Now, line up out the, out the door before it opened. It opened at 11, we're here at 10.30 and there's already a lineup for the drive through and to come in. Let's try these jalapeno cheddar sausages. Amazing. I, I can't wait to have more brisket. We got some burnt ends. Also beef based. But Texas style, very just smoked. This just took the cake. Oh, best, best burnt end I've ever had in my life. Absolutely. Officially, best burnt end, y'all. Hutchins Barbecue in McKinney. One of the best coleslaws ever. I'm gonna have to get more of those burnt ends. Those are phenomenal. Pork rib. Mm. Rena is gonna love these ribs. Try it out. These are big. I love pork ribs. Mm. These are perfectly textured, perfectly oh. seasoned. You bad? Mm. That's phenomenal. Yeah, it really is. Wow. Perfect amount of soft tenderness. Just fall off the bone, but yep. like still textured. Yep. This is damn good, Ram. It really is. Mm, hello. Excellent. Thank you so much. Um, I think we're okay for right now, but we'll definitely get some more here shortly. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Can you actually give me another tray of the coleslaw? This is the soda. Did you try the coleslaw yet? Mm. I haven't, but that jalapeno sausage. Wow, that's amazing. That's probably mm -hmm. one of the juiciest sausages I've ever had in my life. Yeah, I'm right This is really good. I thought, this is, I almost just swore, this is freaking delicious. Y'all know if I just shove and eat, I like it. Like, uh, this is have some more of that beautiful brisket. Thank you so much. I love this. I actually love coleslaw. I haven't tried it yet, but I will try it. Mm. That's beautiful. Light and crisp. Yep. What is this? You know, looks like mini egg rolls. I don't. We do. It just tastes like fried stuff. But is it corn? No, it's hush puppy. But I'm gonna try the uh, catfish. Oh. Kind of like a hush puppy or something. It's really good. This is what I've been waiting for. Catfish? Yeah. Good? Mm -hmm. I freaking love catfish, man. Okay, and that broccoli slaw. That's some broccoli salad, broccoli salad underneath. I love broccoli salad. 
This is a good one. Phenomenal. Going back to a burnt end. You're not interested in trying turkey, are you? I'll try it. Oh, you go. I don't know. I saw their turkey. It looks so lean. I like turkey. Mm. Oh, that turkey is very easy. I have some works like super dry. This is really, really good. No. Definitely a very moist turkey. And smoked turkey, Texas style, is pure perfection. I'll try some catfish. Very soft, nice and lightly seasoned. This tartar sauce? Here we have a Texas Twinkie, which is a jalapeno with cream cheese and brisket in it, which is then smoked with bacon and a glaze on it. These are a special they only have on weekends. Cheers. Cheers, Raina. That is rich, that is savory. It's very sweet. I'm surprised how sweet it is, not very spicy. That is delicious. You could like pop those like by the dozen. Texas Twinkies. That's really delicious. That really I need to do a story on this. It's a little hard to So, guys, these are their special Texas Twinkies. Absolutely amazing. It is too good. You don't even need the sauce. It is just, oh, I'm dying. This is amazing. Wow. I did not expect it to be said that good. I'll be honest. I'm trying to contain myself because every bite I am just absolutely dying and going to heaven on the inside. Have you tried to fry okra? Can I fry okra? Okay. Have you tried it here? Yeah. Everything's on point. Try some fried okra. <laughs> and it tastes good. Very good. Whoops, I'm gonna make a mess. Did you try that broccoli salad yet? No, I didn't. It's good. Try it. It's perfect. Mm. Oh wow. Brisket beans. Very good. Pinto beans still hold a lot of texture. Just a really nice light barbecue flavor to it. Very nice. Of course, some green beans. Nice to cook, bits of garlic. And this barbecue sauce, it's like a super nice red sauce. Excellent flavor. All right, got some more meats. Got some more ribs, some more fatty briskets, some more burnt ends. All of which are just like, it's so good. I'm just ready to just, I'm just ready to go to heaven. So delicious. So flavorful, beautiful smoke. Pork has just the perfect rich taste, like those ribs. Thank you so much. You rock. A little bit of sweet sauce they put on those ribs as well. Oh, just like 
too good. Hot. I can't believe we never came to this place the last time we came to Tech. This is good. It's freaking delicious. Rich got this as a recommendation from a subscriber, and they were absolutely right. If you know their name, shout out. Oh, you don't want to mention it. I don't know it. I don't want to mention it, I don't remember off the top of my head, but shout out whoever you are. I do read all the comments. We've got lots of recommendations all over the place, so thank you so much. Um, I mean, a place like this doesn't win Best Barbecue in the DFW area multiple times without being this good, and I can totally see why. Places. This is the best turkey we've actually really we've come upon, 100. percent Oh, I thought he was for real. I would have wanted. I want to see this. I'd, I'd help him out. Green wants to watch him kill a kid. I was. I thought he was being for real. <laughs> oh, I forgot how good that brisket was in the last five seconds. Oh boy, it's too good. And look at this. Just, oh. So that was Tracy Hutchins. That was one of the uh, the actual owners of Hutchins Barbecue. Right it's been in the family, gen like four, four, I think four generation family re uh, restaurant. Oh my God. Just, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm trying not to drop because it's just gonna fall to the floor. So juicy, so fatty, so peppery. It just melts in your mouth. Beef butter. There you go. Ooh, good. Smelling. Oh man. I love broccoli salad. So good. My mom used to make a broccoli salad. This is like reliving my childhood dreams. And yes, mom, if you're watching, I'd love to share with you. Um, I'm good for now. Could I get some? Uh, I'll take some more ribs. Some more brisket. Do you have some, uh, uh, you have some pulled pork? I'll try some pulled pork too. Do you want the moist brisket or the hot I'll take the, I'll take both. The moist brisket, the furnace, the brisket, and the pulled pork. Sounds delicious. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it. Joey's going to have man. This is just my thing. I'm not even trying to go ham. I'm just enjoying it. One thing that, oh, if I took it to I think I would be like you. It's too good. This is literally like a spiritual experience. This is speaking to my soul. What a way to describe it. Words cannot describe the beauty of Texas Barbecue. Spiritual experience. I think they can quote that in your testimonial. Like, on the Hudson's Barbecue page testimonials. This is a spiritual experiment slash Johansson 2020.
It's like you ever want to live in the now. Eat this food. Uh, I'm gonna take it on this. And then this bite's gonna be even better. I just like, I'm, I'm broken. I'm speechless. It's just too good. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, I don't understand. What is the meaning of life? What is the purpose besides eating barbecue? I don't know, guys. I have to go reflect on my life after this. Uh, I just don't know. I'm just, I'm here, and I'm now. And Texas barbecue is so right. Uh, that's it. I'm going to become a monk. Monks are vegetarian. Up in a mountain in Tibet, isolate myself, and just eat Texas barbecue. It's so good. It's so good. Thank you, God, for making delicious animals. Thank you, God, for Texas. All right. Something we didn't get before, actually, was some pulled pork. So now I have some pulled pork. I will now try the pulled pork. This is a pretty heavy smoke from that pecan. Very moist. Good richness to it. It has that true Texas taste. Not a lot of salt and pepper on it. But it could just be the bite I had, like without the probably more of a center bit. That bite a little bit more salt and pepper. It's very nice. I'll try a little bit of that sauce on it. Oh yeah, perfection. Perfectly complements the meat. Nice and steamy and hot and juicy. That was a nice bite. I like the dessert. How's the dessert, Raina? I know the desserts are really good if Raina likes them because she doesn't like dessert. Yeah. Yeah, you know. But guess what? I'm going to start having dessert. And I love dessert. After this, I'm going to go to dessert. And I'm so excited. Every bite is like careless whisper. Do you know that song? Yeah. It's gonna be a fun video to edit. Let's zoom in on Joel eating. I'll show you how serious I am about this, guys. For my pleasure and to illustrate my feelings, I would risk monetary issues. That's an ad, one sec. Come on, YouTube ads are killing my vibe. Just look at this. Too good. Oh. Oh. I'm contemplating life again. Oh. I can't wait till you get to dessert. Oh. It's so good. <laughs> Jill will implode. Oh. Oh. I just, I can't get enough. This is now on my forever visit when I come to Texas. Well worth the trip to Bikini in the DFW area. It really is. Yeah, no, I, I have to admit, like, he's not exaggerating. This is really, really one of the best barbecues ever. Hutchins is phenomenal. Yeah. Hutchins is really good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
amazing that they give you so many options. Yeah, yeah, that's another big thing. Yeah, there's so much meat options, side options. Is a great yeah, one. lots of sides, lots of options. Yeah. That pork rib is really good. Is it, can you choose your favorite? What was my favorite meat? Well, I can choose my favorite. What is it? Fatty brisket? Frickin' the frickin' burnt ends. Okay, burnt ends. And fatty brisket right there, but officially, best burnt ends I've ever had, guys. Best burnt ends. Hutchins. I love it. Just, I just don't understand. Look, it just, it just falls apart. Animals, cows, why are you so tasty? I feel the presence of God. I'm so blessed right now. Uh, just this brisket. Well, thank you so much. I was going to start a dessert, but I might have to go back to more brisket. I just can't. Uh, it's so good. Oh, and these burnt ends now. I think I could cry. I'm just so happy. I just don't even know what to do with my life. Raina, what is life? Barbecue and fish cobbler. I don't know what the purpose of life is besides this. Like, this is what was meant to happen. Every time Joel has barbecue, it's just so fun. I can't help it. I'm just... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I just... I can't, guys. I'm broken. <laughs> It's just too good. Oh. Guys, help. Joel's imploding. <laughs> I just, it's just too good. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, it's just too good. And we have this delicious looking peach cobbler, which Raina says is phenomenal, and I bet it is. Nice and peachy. Nice. A very moist, moist, peachy peach cobbler. Yeah, great taste on it. You definitely get like a really nice golden cake kind of taste. That's very good. Good call on that, right? That's my ice cream. I like ice cream. Oh, yeah. But I want to try this friggin' banana pudding. I love banana pudding. This looks phenomenal. It looks whipped. It looks a lot like that, like Magnolia style banana pudding. Yeah, banana pudding time. My favorite. It's just too good. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, I'm 
get more of this. Dang it. Raina, why is the food so good here? I don't know. The banana pudding is so airy. It's so nice and light and textured. Beautiful flavors. Great incorporation of that Nilla wafer. I'm definitely getting more of this. Yeah, I need one of those too. That peach cobbler. Oh, I like peach cobbler. So turkey breast and the peach cobbler. Mine are definitely the banana pudding and the beef. The freaking moist brisket and the, uh, yeah, I'll definitely do, uh, I'll take like two of those of banana pudding. Beef, freaking brisket, burnt ends, banana pudding. B, 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 triple B, Hutchin. Hell right. All right, got some uh, couple banana puddings here. I love it so much. Uh, then we're gonna show you guys the pits, the barbecue pits, where they're doing all the heavy duty lifting and working for that delicious barbecue. But yeah, oh, also, those Texas Twinkies. Miranda, how's that Texas Twinkie? It was a lot better than I expected. You know, when I bit into it, I was like, oh, it's so soft. Yeah, it just melted and rich, the flavors were great. Yeah, yeah, rich, creamy, and savory. And it wasn't, I was expecting maybe like some acidity from the jalapeno, but not at all. Just like so savory, so delicious. It tasted closer to a chili relleno rather than like a crunchy jalapeno popper that I'm used to. It was fantastic. That's what we got. Yeah. Okay, look, well, you have to try a bite like this. With the... Yeah. This tastes better together. It's pretty good. Yeah. Banana pudding is for me, though. This very well could be the best banana pudding I've ever had, too, actually, to be honest with you. contemplate life and has made Raina like desserts. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a song that goes something along the lines like, I don't know, this moment, or there couldn't be a moment better than this, or something like that. I feel like it's Nicki Minaj, but that's how I feel right now. I just want this moment for life. For life. Repeat. <laughs> Alright, well that was absolutely amazing. Hutchins Barbecue, McKinney, Texas. I can't beat it. That was phenomenal. That was, I definitely think, the best barbecue in DFW. Best I've ever had. And I can see why it's been voted so many dang times. So definitely would recommend brisket, burnt ends, banana pudding. Raina, how was everything? It was 10 out of 10. Definitely come visit if you're in Texas. And no, no, it wasn't even 10 out of 10. It was like 2,500 out of 10. So everybody, until next time, stay happy, really hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Or honestly, even if you enjoyed this a 100th of as much as I did, I know you really liked that video. So thank you so much. Much love, everybody. Huge thanks to everybody here at Hutchins. Great staff and uh, amazing food. So I don't even have to do anything. Napkin drop. My life is made. And I hope you also get your life made here at Hutchins as well. Goodbye, everybody. Have a lovely life.
to truly sear our Texas tweak in all of our salt. These are all strictly just wood burning pits. Wow. So how, many, uh, how many pounds can you fit on these ones here? Uh, they sear all of our sausages, our Texas Twinkies, and we sear our chicken on here just to tighten that skin up. Just some charcoal. So, but what's crazy, with all this money in these pits, we still just do nothing but hot brisket classes. And in Frisco, I've got, we've got eight of these rotisseries. Yeah. And, and then we've got about 5,000 gallon, about, we've got five of these. Yeah. Build more now. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, most of our cooking is all on here and just finishing up. Awesome. Uh, we'll be weekends like there, we'll be doing Texas Twinkies. Yep. And then the, all of our sausages. Nice. These gets to be full with other stuff. Yeah, yeah. briskets oh. and everything. Yeah, so. it's a lot of fun, a lot of, uh, lot of volume, a lot of work. But, man, we we live and breathe it. It's, it's truly what we do. No man. pun intended. Literally got to breathe in that smoke, right? So. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. No, 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 I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I, I smoke meats at home, actually. That's awesome, so okay. My, yeah. uh, my, I mean, I, I smoke some, my house smells like it for a week. That's, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, uh, we just invested a lot. My uncle Kent lives out in East Texas, so we're building pits now. Okay. Nice. They're going to be in the, like thousand gallon barrels. Yeah. Have you seen the Sunny Mower, the Mower pits? I don't think so. Okay, that's, I'm really impressed with him. Uh, so, and the thing about our chamber, we definitely... Good morning, everybody. Today we're in downtown McKinney here with Ms. Rena Huang. And yeah, it looks freaking awesome down here. It's beautiful, nice weather out, and uh, I'll show you around this awesome downtown historic district on this beautiful Labor Day weekend. Pretty, uh, pretty cool and historic. The First National Bank. Yeah. Historic Downtown McKinney Cultural District. Entering Historic Downtown. Well, we better go enter it then. Looks good to me.